Oh, I guess I should. You filming? Yeah. We're gonna beer joint. We have a recommendation from our host, Alex Tate's mom. She says it's the best burger she's ever had. We'll see you about that. So, what just happened there is the mother burger. We didn't do this. I'm not getting the mother burger. I'm following uh, our, our hostess's uh, recommendation of the Mustang Sally burger. Um, but uh, this is this deal. It's like, they describe it as, what was the phrase? Uh, it was, it was uh, the size of a manhole cover. A burger resembling a manhole cover with... Um, a bun the size of a, a bun like couch a couch cushion. cushion. So, um... And they like it costs seventy five dollars. It looks nuts. Uh, those kids were in. So like the experience here, uh, we're in uh, Miami, by the way. I should have mentioned that. Um, here we are in uh, Miami Beach, Florida, uh, very near the Lincoln Road shopping area um, and the beach itself. Sort of a nice little corner view we have here at our table. You can look at the corner view. Ooh, nice. Oh. Listening to Pink Floyd over the radio. We're listening to Pink Floyd. And uh, their style here is awesome. Our waitress is super cool and pregnant. She's over there. Hi. Uh, and uh, it's generally like a lovely day. So the experience, which you know is very important to me, is positive. We'll talk more about experience later and its importance. Um, I'll be back when the burgers get here. The Mustang sign. Take care of it. First off, before I assemble, I want you to see this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This one's for burgers, and this one's for beer. Before I go to town, I want to show you what we have here. Um, this is prosciutto. This is brie cheese. Uh, the burger is a, a Wagyu, which I don't know what that means. W-A-G-Y-U. We'll figure out what that is. What else is on here? Prosciutto brie, uh, ciabatta bun, brioche bun. Brioche bun. Ciabatta. Yours is ciabatta. Mine is brioche. Caramelized onions, looks yeah. like. And there were red peppers, maybe. Mm -hmm. peppers. Yeah. So, I'll let you know in a second what that tastes like when it all comes together. The burger is all assembled. First, I want to show you a little demonstration. If you have a look here, I go to squeeze it to put together, and we get, well, before we had the juices flowing, which is a great sign. So, oh, that is really awesome. There's definitely a sweet sweetness from the caramelized onions. And the burger is mega juicy. Um, and the brie is tossing a nice thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna come back to y'all in a second. But so, the burger has come and gone. Um, that is good. We all had you all had. Uh, here we have Justin, Sarah, Alex. All of us had the same Mustang Sally. Thoughts from you guys? Pretty fucking Amazing. fantastic. Uh, yeah, yeah. I thought it was like incredible. This is a pen. Phenomenal burger. I thought the like the combination of like the like cheese and caramelized onions was like at first I was like interesting and a little overwhelming and like perhaps a little. But that was just the first bite I had because like when I got deeper like the quality of the beef. That is ultimately I think one of the major like I'm a, I'm a big topping guy, but like the quality of the meat is what makes like the best burger. Like a, a good burger can be good. Oh, awesome. So this is our way to take candy. 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 Sorry. Yeah, awesome. Uh, so, what is what is Wagyu? So Wagyu beef is gonna be a, a cow from Japan originally, but here is not. We don't have it. Yeah. So it's a hybrid. That's what we have uh -huh. from American cows in Japan. And the thing is, with that cow is their massage and yeah. raise differently, and they feed them differently, and yeah. so that way the they can barely move so yeah. there's more fat content and uh -huh. everything. But that's the reason why uh, the Mustang Sally. Oh, the, the Mustang Sally, the thing about it is it felt like there were mud like flavors just like coming at you out of nowhere. Yeah, that was that was the thing is that I started out like with this one impression and then like all these other things came in. And this one bite I tasted was like like the best steak I'd ever had. It was like it just tasted so awesome, rich. And so like that's like a conclusion I'm starting to come to is like toppings as I was sort of saying already can like make it. Like a decent burger, like exciting. If you like pile on the onion rings and stuff, 
but like the really amazing burgers when like all the things that have held the best burger title so far uh, it's those um, uh, Paulina in Washington DC uh, are always like super it's like there's a there's a focus on like how like, fantastic the beef is um, and I think that this if I stack this up against Polina's, I think this is probably going to pass it up. I think this is going to be the best part. Oh, shit. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, so That's we have a new... Did we just see... Did we just hear a crowning happen? Oh, yeah. This will happen upon the Mustang Sally. Um, <laughs> it's just... The beef is like so fantastic, um, which as we heard, it's the, you massage your cow and that makes all the difference in the world. Uh, so yeah, but this is just like a, I just had a fantastic, plus like the experience here is awesome, the weather is nice, the fries are delicious, the waitress is cool, um, and that matters to me. So uh, yeah, this has been, this has been a best burger experience. Um, yeah. Also, Ned Baker sealed the proof of winning. <laughs> so, yeah, I wonder if I should talk now my closing thoughts about like the burger journey thing. We're talking about like how I'm, I guess I'm a discerning burger eater, but I basically like like nine out of ten burgers I eat. I mean, how often does the something not get the seal of approval? It's like very rare. So. Um, so I said, like, is it interesting to people to read me give, like, a positive review to every burger? And it's like, sometimes I talk about the burger itself, sometimes I'm just forcing it, uh, because, like, it's less like a guide to eating burgers and more like the chronicles of my burger journey, um, which I hope is interesting to people, uh, to follow this narrative of someone who loves burgers eating many of them in different places. This is like, this is where now, like, since, uh, we did the Sonic Burger in, where was that? Where was Sonic Burger? Georgia. Georgia? Kentucky. Kentucky. <laughs> the Sonic Burger in Kentucky to the Cracker Barrel. It was right after the caves. Kentucky. Cracker Barrel was in Florida, like, Gainesville. K Gainesville, Florida, on our way to Walt Disney World. We did Walt Disney World. Now we came to Miami. Um, I think that's kind of like a cool narrative follow. I don't know. I'm enjoying it. I mean, I get to eat the burgers, but, you know. So, yeah. Those are my closing thoughts. I hope you're enjoying. Uh, and hopefully I will continue to update. And go, shut up. Anyway, it's been a pleasure uh, dining with all of you uh, and here and getting to be filmed, which always feels really exciting. <laughs> anyway, peace out. Hey Porter, hey Porter, would you tell me the time? How much longer will it be till we cross that Mason Dixon line? At daylight, would you tell that engineer to slow it down? Or better still, just stop the train, cause I want to look around. Hey Porter, hey Porter. P.S. Yo. Special thanks to cameraman Jake here, who is certainly an important member of the team. You remember that camera work earlier when it followed me into the door? Nice camera work, right? Oh, this guy. Jake, you had uh, the Dear Prudence? I had the Dear Prudence. Uh, which it actually was... Was, a, it was a vegetarian burger. Uh, it had a, a, a grilled portobello steak as the kind of base. And it had red red onions, um, red peppers, sorry, excuse me, red peppers and porta, uh, provolone cheese. And and uh, walnut pesto sauce. It was really good. And you, yeah, so you enjoyed it? I enjoyed it a lot. Good option for vegetarians? It was fancy. Yeah. Fancy. Guess what, vegetarians? You can eat here too. Lucky you guys. That's all. Now the, fancy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now the burger blog is officially over. Peace.